All right. So to get the custom screens for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 for all your home cockpits and home flight simulation, what you're going to want to do is come to this website, flightsim.to, right here. And this is great. We can get loads of scenery, it's aircraft, liveries, and utility tools that will enhance the flight simulator experience. I personally use this website for a lot of things that I install into the simulator to get more immersion and realism from everything. So initially you're going to want to come into the search bar, which is going to be at the top of the screen and you're going to want to type in pop out manager, like so. And once it loads, like so, um, you are going to want to see these two applications here by Hawkeyes K. And this one on the left here, the gray symbol at the top is so for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And this green symbol here is for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Um, I'm not too sure what installing 2020 and 2024 does. I only have 2024 installed as that's the simulator I use. Other than that, yeah. Um, so once you once you know which simulator you have, you just click on what whichever one, and you end up being brought to this site here. And uh, this is just about the Microsoft Flight Simulator pop up panel manager 2024. And you're gonna want to scroll down a little bit, and this box here. So mine's already downloaded, and I already have it installed, but it should be. Uh, it should be purple and it should say download. So you're going to want to click that. Then once it downloads, you'll end up uh, with a file. And to actually get the simulator uh, for the application, you, you can either follow these instructions, just follow the instructions here, for instance. So you've just got to unzip the folder and then you can just run the application. So once you download it, it should look something like this. And then you want to click on the folder come up here where it says extract all then you want to click extract and now you have the new folder which should be under this one this one the initial one has a little zip and this one underneath it shouldn't have a zip so you're going to click on it and in here at the top you've got the uh, MS FS pop-up manager 2024 you've got the license everything else like that all the information you need so once you run the application it should look like this this is brand new, let's say. And coming over to the simulator now, this is where it's going to be useful. Um, so I'm currently in the Phoenix A320 in a cold and dark situation on the ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a profile. And let's call this one Phoenix A320. And we're going to press accept. Now, see here, we have nothing, right? To get our custom panels, what we're going to want to do is press this little icon here. It shows a click to add with an arrow. So we're going to press the add button. And I'm going to... So first of all, I'm going to change the name of it. I'm going to go Captain PFD, Primary Flight Display. And now I'm going to identify it. Because at the moment, it's not sure what screen it wants to show. So I'm going to click identify. And now... I can place this so see in the simulator i've got this little green circle i'm going to click that in the middle or roughly in the middle of the screen and then what i'm going to want to do is come back to our manager and click the sort of crosshair style one again with the circle in the middle just above the green one and that now has the screen of what we're going to do so then to add another one, just come over to the add sign again. And we're going to go Captain um, Navigation. And click Identify. And press start. This one will be red. They're all going to be different colors for all the different screens you've got. Then come back over to this screen crosshair thing with the center building. And now we have these two it gets quite interesting from here um so what you're going to want to do is you want to click start pop out and once you start them to pop out they will pop out 
and you end up with a screen like this and a screen like that and you can drag them around and do this do whatever you want with them i'd suggest you see this these options here which says hide title bar which gets rid of that top bit and then from there all you've got to do is simply actually hang on if you're going to move them do not hide the title bar i'm just going to drag them over to my secondary screen and simply fit them as i see like they fit on the screen so one second okay so now we've adjusted the height of them i've adjusted them so they fit my screen here and what i'm going to do is i've hidden the title bars again and you can click always on top if you want so they don't get minimized just in case and just like so once you start click start pop out it will move your camera so all you've got to do is press shift wasd to move around e goes up q comes down microsoft flight simulator 2024 and i'm going to come up to the overhead panel batteries one batteries two external power and now we're slowly but surely seeing the screens come to life as they are in the simulator so if we align all of them we'll actually set the aircraft to a let's just go turn around activate that screens will change click the buttons <laughs> so i've actually got them swapped around the aircraft so these these two are back to front so that one should be there and that one should be there but all you've got to do is simply just swap them around or you can come in the simulator and fix it by pressing the primary flight display to navigation display flexes fixes them like that um and yeah that's about it to get in your custom displays i'd say once you've got them all come over here and just close once you're finished just click close pop outs and that'll get rid of them thank you for watching this video until the end i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did find this helpful could you please help me by liking the video and subscribing to my channel as it shows me that people are interested in this type of content so i can make more and it also helps my channel grow bigger for the future and thank you and i hope you have a nice day